push, push, push. Put your head through. Woo. I'm dreaming of a summer day with palm trees and sunny rays and sunflower fields. We run away. Hey everyone, it's Mel. I have Cleo here with me. Hello. I have another episode of Two Souls, One Flow. So I'm so excited to show you my beautiful friend from Germany that I just met here in Thailand and we're just gonna be going through a little flow and working on what she wants to work on. So let's get started. Please uh, tell us where you're from or which part of Germany and how long have you been doing yoga for? I've um, like, I've actually born in Berlin but uh, I live in the western part of Germany close to the Dutch border oh, wow. at the moment. So. Um, it's pretty nice because I just love the Netherlands and can just step over basically. And um, I would say I've been doing yoga like for two and a half years. It's difficult because I've done yoga like when I was 17 for half a year, but then I stopped for 10 years. And yeah. also during COVID, I didn't do that much, but it's an on and off relationship, yeah. I would suppose. Nice. Well, I'm happy that you've kept through it, even through COVID and everything. The whole world is very hard, not having like studios open and all that. Um, what kind of yoga do you like the most? Um, it's back at home. Like I fell in love with hot yoga because, like, I love the cold German winter yeah. and like. <laughs> I, I knew like hot yoga, I, I could come into a super hot uh, room and like yeah. finally thread and like this is nice. I also like the uh, classical vinyasa lo, uh, flow, sorry, where yeah. you really uh, also get into sweating and feel like you're doing an exercise, but <laughs> <laughs> also yin yoga, like so yeah. I just like the freedom to learn figures and be able to adapt your own style with yoga. Yeah. So. Uh, we love the same things, literally. Oh my god. I'm upset, and I, I feel like it's because we're both Aries and we're fire signs. So I swear by this. Like every fire sign I know loves hot yoga, loves to be free, vinyasa, and have it be like creative. Um, and then like every earth sign I know, swear to God, they do not like hot yoga. It's like just the cold room, just like, you know, but yeah. So, oh my God, we have to go to a yeah, yoga studio oh here together. Gosh. And also Ariel, we have oh, to do the I Ariel know stuff. of a studio here actually. We, I went to one in um, Bangkok and they have a, they have a, a location here. So oh we'll go gosh. together. Yeah, Yay. you will see here probably, Perfect. hopefully. <laughs> what has yoga done for you? Um, wow, just, <laughs> um, <laughs> I have to think for a second, sorry. Um, I think it's like, it provided me with a skill set like um, especially like the time on my vacation on the beach where I know okay I can do yoga basically everywhere and I'm normally a pretty active person so for yoga I don't need to have like to go to the gym or to go somewhere yeah. so like this pretty helps me and also like through yoga I started to meditate and yeah. I still don't do it at much as I would like but um, I think like it shaped my soul and yes. my body hopefully yes I yes. love that oh, yoga is such an incredible practice if anyone or if everyone knew that this is what it did, did for you I think more people would do it um, but what do you I know that we were doing like some um, arm balances yesterday she wanted to learn about forearm stands and we oh, just kind yes. of carefully <laughs> did it, but I want, let's work on them today. I, I, I know that yesterday you said that you wanted to do some more stretching, so yes. I'm going to take her through a gentle, just quick stretch to do before doing inversions and then we're going to go ahead and do it, um, a forearm stand. Perfect. Okay, let's, let's do start. it. <laughs> Bringing your hands to your heart center, bowing your chin, closing your eyes. So you're going to take a few breaths. Inhaling through the nose, open the mouth, exhale. Again. Good. Open up your arms, lift your arms to the sky, big stretch. And then drop your left hand down to the ground and then side bend over. 
Nice. Coming back to the center. Big inhale up. Exhale, drop the right arm. Good. Inhale, come up. Last inhale. Exhale, pull hands to heart. Amazing. <laughs> Let's go to hands and knees. Looking forward. Dropping the belly, arch the back, look up. Good, and then round the tailbone down. Gaze to your belly button. Cat pose. Good, taking this a few rounds. Working into the spine. Making sure to move with your breath. I like to make big circles like this. So we're gonna do big circles as we go down to cat and then arch your back as we go up. Yeah. <sighs> Going opposite directions. You can close your eyes. Doing whatever feels good for your body to warm up for inversions. Good. All right, inhale, right arm up. Exhale, thread the needle. I think, are we good <laughs> with space? And then inhale the left arm up and thread it behind your back. Take three deep breaths. Last one. And inhale the arm up. And then come out of it exactly how you came in. So wave the right arm back up and place it down. Changing sides, left arm lifts. Exhale, thread it under. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale. Good. Last breath, inhale. Big exhale. And coming out of it exactly how you came in. Raise the arm up and plant the hands. Okay, so a huge thing with inversions are our wrists. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's go ahead and just kind of go back and forth, moving the fingertips and the hands. Good, and then we're gonna keep the fingertips out, push into the earth, and then we're just gonna rock side to side. Beginning to already work the core, squeezing the belly up and in. Good. Changing the directions, bring the fingertips in and do the same thing. You can actually do big circles. Good. All right, flip the palms so the fingertips are facing you. Triceps are out and then slowly sit back. Try to keep your palms kind of planted. The wrists are like the first things that get so damaged in inversion, so it's so good to stretch them. Good. Last one, flip it on top of the hand. This is uncomfortable, but it feels good. And just shift back and forth. Everything's on the Yeah. <laughs> oh. Good. Okay, sitting back onto your butt. Shake out the wrists. You can already feel they're like, woof, from stretching and putting pressure. I should do this every time. Yes. Like, I always miss the wrist. Also, uh -huh. like, all the aerial stuff, it's even more important. Yeah. Okay, interlace your fingers, and then go away from you. Round your spine, look down, and then inhale up. So big stretch. And then you're going to curl yourself down, walk your fingertips forward, coming into puppy pose. So, back and forth. Hips are to the sky. Good. Amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially with the forearm stands, it's a lot into your back, so it's good to stretch your back and your shoulders so much before. So I'm getting you all sandy. <laughs> oh my gosh, feels like a massage. <laughs> And then I want you to keep there, try to bring your palms together. 
kind of hard on the sand. Good. So getting into the triceps, and it actually gets a little bit deeper into the shoulders. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Yes. <laughs> it's good to do these on blocks because then your your head can go deeper down. But for now, this will work. All right, release. And then roll yourself forward onto your forearms and on your belly. Good. So I want you to pull your heart up with your elbows. Good. Amazing. So walk your hands down underneath your shoulders. Push yourself up, upward facing dog. You can rock your hip left and right. So go to the left first, like this. It kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of feel a big stretch in the low back. And then look the other way. You can kind of add these in when you do upward facings, kind of like this. Yeah. Nice. And then curl the toes under, hips to the sky. Tom dog. Nice. Stretch. Yes. Whew. One of my favorites. I know. It's crazy what this one stretch can do. Like, yes, uh. It's, and it's so basic, but it's yeah. like, I never miss it. Exactly. Good. So go on your two, three toes, looking down, and then push the heels down. Two more of those, just to be toes. And push your heels. Last time, inhale and exhale. Look to your hands and then tippy toe all the way to your hands. Feet hips with distance and sway side to side. Good. Amazing. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand all the way up. One vertebrae at a time. Coming up and hands to heart. Good. Let's face each other. <laughs> Inhale, arms in the sky. Take one of your wrists and side bend. Good. I should be the one mirroring or doing the opposite. Inhale, up. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, lift. Stretch really, really far up. And then drop your elbows, look back, keeping your core engaged, and push it forward. And forward folds. Pedal your heels a couple times. And then when you're ready, inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, chaturanga. So slowly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So slowly keep the elbows close to your body. Yep. And then look up. Pull your heart through. If you can, lift the kneecaps off the ground. And downward facing dog. Good. All right. Inhale, right leg lifts. Good. Bend the knee open. Make a few big circles with your hips. Good. Lift the leg up, and then exhale, step your leg outside of the right hand, and then go ahead and just rock front and back. Good. Good. Great. Drop onto the back knee, bring this hand on the knee, and just open up the hip. Good. I know that you said that you want to be doing uh, inversions with the yes. split open, yes. So always stretch the hips first. Good. All right, bring the knee in. Inhale the left or the right arm up for the twist. And then exhale, bring your hands up, Anjane Asana. So I want you to pulse back and forth, working into the hip flexor. Good, perfect. And then once you get to a nice spot, I want you to hold and go as deep as you can. Lifting out of your body, squeezing the core, keeping your hips square. I know you want to open it. It feels so good. Try to keep it square now. Yeah. Good. All right. Plant the hands down. Straighten the 
right leg, flexing the toe to your face, <laughs> big flat back. Keep your um, head up, so inhale, and then try to keep your back flat as much as you can. So good for the hamstrings. Good. All right, walk your hands forward, open up, skandasana to the side. So, uh, so you're gonna actually do it simultaneously, simultaneously, okay, that word always. Together, so you keep, go where you were. Mm -hmm. I love doing this, it's so good. So you're gonna walk forward and you're just literally gonna open up and then put the, point the left toe to the sky. Yes. So do a quick little switch. Good. Try to float your arms. Good. And then plant the hands, walk to the other side. Open up, skandasana to the left. Good. Float the hands up. Amazing. Come to the center, walk your hands forward, and step back, chaturanga. Good, actually just push back to child's pose. And let's go ahead and start getting into the strengthening of the forearms. So we're going to plant the hands. So again, I know that you, all, you were doing this, so this is great. But honestly, I like to focus on making it even closer than that, slightly, because it's going to automatically push out more. So if you have it out, it's going to go out more. So keep it right here. Sometimes I like to bring my hands a little bit closer. And then go ahead and bring your hips to the sky, dolphin. And I just want you to go forward, so you're going to look to your, to your thumbs. So you're stretching the front of your throat. And then you're going to pull front and back. Like yeah. Here, I can actually go next to you. So you can kind of see. Yeah. Good. Here. Good. Ooh, I'm already it like this. Yeah. So this is just flossing the shoulders. So it's so good to do these before going into pincha. Good, and then I want you to just try to hold and get your gaze to your belly button. So put your head through, if you can. Pushing away from the earth and looking all the way in between your knees. So I'm gonna make you work out a little bit here. So I want you to plant the hands underneath where they are. And I want you to push to down dog. And then drop to your forearms. Yes, so tricep push-ups, but these are so good because when you have this flexibility and this strength, you can hold any kind of shape. So do 10 of them. Good. Keep going if you can. Woo! Last one, drop it down. One more push. Okay, one more. There you go, yes! <laughs> good, and then come down for a break for a second. <laughs> Shake it out. How do you feel? Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's the stuff that you gotta do, cause like, if you want to do all the back bendy shapes, you have to learn how to just hold and like catch yourself. So, perfect. Let's just do one more stretch and then we'll go into it. Let's do some back bends. So we're gonna lay back, hands on your ankles, or yeah, you can touch. I just like to hold it like this. Um, Cause then when you lift, it kind of forces you to get the shoulder blades under. Cause what you want to work on is getting that shoulder flexibility. So we're holding, breathing. Make sure to squeeze your booty. Lifting. Good. Okay, already. <laughs> <laughs> you need the back strength for pincha. Since I know that you're so bendy, but then you need the strength to hold. Okay, slowly come down. Release the bind. Rock your knees left and right. Nice. Last one, if you want to stay there, you can, or do the full wheel. Mm -hmm. So, you can go back to here, and then go ahead, get the hands underneath. Good. Amazing. So I want you to walk, yep, walk your hands closer to your feet. Perfect. Try your hardest to push your, your, sh your chest through, yeah. That's, that is the forearm strength. That's what you need, good. Try to keep your knees a little bit closer. Push, 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 and come down slowly. Good. Yay, perfect. How do you feel? Warmed up? Yes. Okay, let's just go ahead and do a couple of them. Okay. So, co um, come to your spot of here. 
and then we're going to again go to puppy pose and so before jumping into it I want you to walk your toes so your hips are right underneath your elbows you're leaning forward but your chin is up so you won't face plant you're gonna go ahead and lift the leg that you do and then you're going to slowly kick and try to bend one knee nice you got it so remember, look up. So, yep, right there. Good. Hold there. Squeeze. Yep, bring this knee down more. Right there. That's it. Good. So I know it's really hard. We're on sand right now. So this is like way harder than it would be. So it's sinking. So let's move up a little bit. And you know how your elbows are kind of going out? You want to try to keep them in as much as you can. Like so I try to even like put them so close together. Maybe a little bit wider. It's a little, yeah. And my shoulders are so I'm like tiny, tiny. So right there is good. So again, um, also some people feel right here. Some people feel good like this. I think I'd try like this. Okay. And then I really want you, when you kick, because you're going right into the back bend, I want you to focus on kicking and looking up and not back bending quite as much. So I want you to keep that leg that you first kick up, up in the air. So try it. Yep, slow, right there. And then I want you to push through your chest. You gotta push through the chest. Push through the chest the opposite way. Nice. Like this way. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Good. Okay, so how about let's try a different shape. Okay. So also, I think I mentioned it yesterday. You're really kind of trying to lean forward like this and then watch you're pushing through like that so you could even look put your head through like a hollow body <laughs> but I know it's difficult to think about so I want you to try instead of doing one leg like that I want you to try to do this or even actually this because I feel like it's it's easier because you're closer to the ground and then you can push through yeah it's a lot of shoulders. Here we go. You got this. I got this. Okay. Yes. So, what shape are you trying? Are you doing the uh, open or? I think like I just try to get like both knees. Yeah, both knees. Okay. Yeah, Let's try it. And jump. Good. Push through. More weight in your hands. You got it. Yes. That's it. It's a little bit more of an arch right there. Right there. Good. Nice. Now try to hold. Push through. Squeeze your butt. I don't see any butt squeeze. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That was way better. Oh my gosh. So the, I, swear, I, I think it's because it was a little bit loose on the bottom end. When you squeeze it, it holds. I still also feel like that I should uh, bring more weight on my hands. Yeah. Theoretically, I know, okay? It's supposed like to be on my exactly. head as well, but it's still mostly on my it's like, arms. On it's arms. like, it's, you can shift back and forth, but the majority of it should be like even in the middle. So you should feel weight in the hands and in the elbows. Yeah, it's, it's hard because you know, it's a big back bend. So in yoga, like in handstands, they try to tell you to pull the booty under, but for this, you kind of have to arch it back. But then there's a point where you, want to fall this way so you want to find that medium ground it's where squeezing the butt squeezing the core finding that balance point and you can be able to move your legs anyway hopefully soon i have to practice this every day from now on yeah i think it's so interesting because like i can do the head stand on my head yeah and i kind of um expected like to be the forearm stand um, yeah that it feels similar but it feels like a totally different thing. So it's I feel like, like also yeah. my back feels totally different. Yeah, the back, it's a lot of stre uh, strenuous uh, stretching and, uh, you know, muscles you've never felt in forearm stand. So, yeah, like my middle upper back always hurts so bad. But that's why it's good to, like, do the puppy pose, like, every day. Do these. And then, of course, do those, like, triceps. Yes, I really enjoyed like those dynamic exercises you showed yeah. me because mostly when I warm up, I just do one like 
one exercise and then I do the next. But I really mm -hmm. enjoy like doing those dynamic flow poses. Yeah. So do you want to try another time? Yeah, let's let's okay. stop there and I know that you're probably feeling it and feeling sore. Already um, today in the morning, like yeah. I said, okay, there's something different with my arms. We did a lot of these yesterday by the way. So she was like we were going in yesterday. I made her do a million of them. <laughs> But, oh, thank you so much for oh, thank you so much. letting me show you on camera. And I hope you guys liked this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below and subscribe. And definitely turn on the bell notifications. I'll have plenty more Two Souls, One Flow of my series uh, soon. Bye -bye. Namaste. Thank you, Mel. I love you. Hey, guys. It's Mel. This is... Brianna. Hi. <laughs> And we're starting my first episode of Two Souls, One Flow. So I'm going to be asking Rihanna some questions about herself. And she's an amazing yogi in the community. She's so strong, so beautiful. She also has YouTube and Instagram, so you guys can um, get her info below. But let's start off. Um, where are you from? I'm Australian, so originally from Tasmania, Tassie Devil. Nice. And I've been living abroad for about 15 years now. Yes. Yeah. She's been traveling so much. We're actually in Switzerland right now, and that's where she lives for the last year. Yes. Um, and this is so beautiful, Lucerne. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tourist hotspot. Yes. So how long have you been doing yoga? Uh, probably about eight, nine years now. Yeah. Nice. Started in my thirties. Nice. Yeah. That's me, but I started when I was eighteen. Oh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. What type of yoga do you pre prefer, and why? Just yoga. Um, I think that yoga doesn't have to have a definition and, and it's more about what moves my soul and what makes my heart sore so you know just practice to make me feel alive again okay. yeah <laughs> do you um do you like to go to yoga studios like hot yeah. studios or i've never been to hot studio i've only been yeah. like um to one yoga class in my whole entire life and the rest of things in my home and besides my yoga teacher training Amazing! Yeah. That's so awesome! <laughs> wow, do you ever want to go to the studio and try it? Or you're just... I think I'd get nervous actually yeah. Yeah, with all of the energy and everything. I would think I would be like, oh, I know I can do lots, but now everybody's watching. But I'm not sure. Yeah, it's very different when you're in your own home and your own center inside your soul and heart where you're just yeah. internalized. Whereas I feel like um, yoga students are very externalized as well and people are looking around to see how to totally. do things, what to do. Mm -hmm. You could be a good teacher though. I feel like it's good to go in and like, they're like, oh my God, I wish I could do that. Yeah, I mean, I've taught a couple of times here now with corporate um, yeah. and done um, Pilates and yoga, corporate in St. Gallen where I used to live, but um, I haven't done like classes as in being a student except for one wow. class. So. <laughs> wow, I love that. How has your practice changed since you first started? Like everybody, you start with the physicality because you want to do your handstand, yeah, splits, and then um, suddenly you realize it's not working for you. It's not what yoga kind of told you. It's not um, yoga is meant to be here. I'm breathing better, but I wasn't. So mm -hmm. suddenly I became about my breath and how I, as a human, wanted to feel better. And so it kind of started to change into an internal perspective and so as in feels as opposed to let's get the split. Let's yeah. Do a yeah. I feel like so many people can relate to that. I think yeah. so. I think a lot of people look at it as a gymnastic form, mm -hmm. and then you're suddenly like, okay, but I'm meant to feel good, and yes. yeah, then it starts to be like, okay, there's a breath in here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I am 100% the same. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are your current goals in your practice? I think I want to be for as long as possible moving in yoga. You know, um, no destination. And I mean, I'd love to do one arm and I'd love to go deeper into like back bends and, and all of those things. But most importantly, I really want to feel magic. You know, I really yeah. want to just, I don't want a destination of time that I have to stop in age that I have to stop. I want to, want to be one of those people that people look at you when you're, you know, 80 or 90 and you're like, Hey, you know, I'm still yes. moving really freely. So yeah. Ah, oh, yes. But what has yoga done for you? Basically saved my life. Um, I, yeah, I, when I first started, I was suffering from post and prenatal depression. I'd lost a child, and doctors said I couldn't so have sorry. a child, so that was really tough. And then my daughter came along, so she's my miracle. Um, she wasn't meant to happen. Doctors said that I couldn't. So 
when she came along, I was kind of suffering from trauma of losing a child mm -hmm. to recalibrating to having a child and um, which led to an attempt on my life. Um, and it was in that moment when I realized you fall down seven times, stand up eight, and I started practicing handstands with breath that I realized no matter how low I get in the mind, I can get back up again. And wow. so yoga was like that reminder of one pose that stood me up each time, no matter how hard life was. Yeah. That is so beautiful. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> you. Your daughter is an angel. Oh, thank you. Such a gift. <laughs> yeah, definitely. She wow. reminds me of all the beautiful things in life. Kids are amazing. Yeah. They, they're like your teachers and they're the best of you and the worst of you. <laughs> yeah, we were literally just talking about that. <laughs> like our parents are, yeah. we're exactly our parents. Yes. <laughs> the best and the worst. Yes. <laughs> so funny. I'm like, I'm never gonna do that, okay. And then you're like, wait, yeah. oh. oh my gosh. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be different every time I bring um, a guest on. And so I'm going to ask, would you like to teach me yoga or would you like me to teach you yoga? Would love okay. to swap tips of handstands and share what you know we can both share for people that are learning that kind of stuff. Um, Perfect. Yes. See what benefits people have, you know, because I'm sure you teach differently being a tumbler and yeah. all that type of thing to me yeah. learning in my 30s. So yeah, we could swap some tips or something. Perfect. Cool. Okay, so what stretches do you guys do for um, handstands or like? And how, how, what, what's the progression? Do you start on a wall and then you get off it? Progression for handstands. Yeah, it depends. I mean, for a lot of people, they start on the wall as they go through and then they would slowly move away from the wall because the wall becomes your false hope. So you need to kind of I get know. away from the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Which is really the hardest part, I think, for a lot of people is that trust in yourself. Oh, too. the trust. Yeah. I think like that's why I loved going to classes because I would put myself in that vulnerable position yes. to, to jump up and know I could fall and hit someone. Tumbling would have made a huge difference, right? That too. Yeah. But like even so, I started doing like yoga right after I stopped cheering okay. in gymnastics. So it's like, okay, I had been doing like six months, no, no tumbling, no cheer, no nothing. I was like starting to gain weight. Again, I wanted it for the physical. Yeah. Like all these like, yogis look so beautiful and strong. They're amazing, huh? And um, yeah, and when I started going to class. I was doing it at home at, at first. Amazing, yes. And, and so then I was like, okay, I'm confident enough to go into a class. Yes. And then I was like, I would jump up into handstands and like fall and yeah. But like, it's about, like she, it's so funny because I'm opposite. I started at home and I like, and now I don't like doing a full class at home unless I go to a studio. Cause I like, yes. to, I like to be taught. I like to just turn my brain off and just like follow and like, yeah. And then you, yeah, you're like at home. <laughs> you're at home because like you like that like control for yourself like yes. yeah yeah no I absolutely admire when you're out there in public and everyone's doing it when people ask me to do a handstand in public I'm like it's okay <laughs> and I, I'm so upset I'm like okay we're doing it <laughs> it's like we have just dance at home and my daughter's dancing and I'm like she's like you get up and there's like six people in the room with her guests I'm like no it's okay you go. <laughs> So yeah, it's a cool, it's amazing how different energies like just yeah. work well with it. I love running in public, but I don't like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you like to run. I love running, yeah. Me too. So cool, we huh? should run together. Yes. <laughs> we should all run together. Yes. That'd be amazing. <laughs> I want to see your stretches uh, okay. before you get into your handstand. Okay, so um, I, I love doing, so when you, you can place your feet here against the wall to give you the hip alignment, so your knees and hips, and then you're coming down into your puppy pose. And you're either working through here coming into the chest or you're bringing your arms in so you're working on the shoulders yes and then you can bring your elbows up and you can bring your hands under your neck so you're working on your neck as well i don't do that one enough that's that one's really do. good for your um ability to open up because your neck space is actually really important for the muscles if you're doing like um straddle so you're really thinking about lifting up your head okay. and then squeezing your shoulders in and down like this? Yeah. So you're not pushing forward, you want to bring your bottom back, 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 back. There. Okay? So you're so more of like hands and Because otherwise knees. it goes into the lumbar. Yeah. Right? So we, we want you to go into here. So you're squeezing all of the muscles into your spine and you're lifting your head up like you're trying to lift off something. Mm. Right? Because that, that muscle alone is where like where planches come from, where you're you're doing all your handstand strength and although you're naturally Literally, into that. My neck just cracked so many yeah. times. And I have a lot of neck pain. Yes. So thank you. I need to stretch more when I do my handstand. So that's gonna make and just even I jump into them every day yeah. and I don't that is 
But if you put like a, a block on the wall and mm -hmm. you can place your hands up and then come in through your head, pushing down and pushing Ooh, and then you can go side one. to side right into it. Ooh. And that's really good for your neck as well. And that also takes, once you stretch out your neck, you lose um, pressure on your forearms, elbows, shoulders and wrists where a lot of people get pain. So this takes off that pressure where, you know, when you're doing handstands a lot, you tend to get those areas of injury or pain. Well, the neck stretches will take that straight away. That'll help a lot more to decrease So that. do you think that that type of like release and tension and up here, like you said, um, the handstanding every day saves your life. Do you think that has something to do with the mind-body connection? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, so it took me back into my body, into my breast, you yeah, know, just... like just allowed me to be human again outside of all the stigmas and truths and untruths and challenges, you know. Because I was just walking around with that all the time. Mm -hmm. And it was just a moment of flying, even if I was flying or not. But the potential took flight. You know, your wings mm -hmm. started to be less clipped as you went through. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you have like your straddles, which you just did. Mm -hmm. um, or like an, another one is doing the straddle, but coming down. So you're doing the same, yeah. So then you're, and then, but you're actively pushing down. So yes, Ooh. yeah. Ooh. So because you're flexible enough, and and a lot of dancers and gymnasts mm -hmm. and those type of things are, this is fantastic. And then you can also put your feet on blocks mm -hmm. to work your core. But then you're curling the core here. Yeah. Because that's where your hand stands. Your focus is here. Yeah. Aligning your hip space yeah. and your shoulder space, right? Because a lot of times we twerk our butt out and we lose the position. Fine if you're doing back bends, yeah. But if you're doing other stuff, then it's yeah, yeah. So okay. that one's going to be really good for you as well. Yes. <laughs> I think Sorry. that's pretty much it for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you do when Let's you do get it. in the handstand? Because yeah. I can't handstand. Can't handstand? Sure you can. No. Oh yeah, I can't handstand. <laughs> yeah. When I... <laughs> yeah, sure you can. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Shannon's the first person to tell me I was a yogi, and then maybe do yoga more. What do you do for handstands? You just go straight in. We just honestly, yoga. I do like I do this. Yep. And I like to start by, I always do like puppy. Puppy. Are you all uh, pressed? Do you press in all? Honestly, I haven't been doing a, a normal press in a while. I haven't okay. been practicing as much. Do you learn it in your tumbling and pressing? I No, I learned everything after. Okay. I had to teach myself. Wow, amazing. Because I had really bad form yeah. when I was like doing gymnastics and cheer. Yes. Really bad form. Like, they would have us do handstand like walks and handstand circles. Yeah, so you got the. I, I was arched yeah. and I it was like not pushed street, through. Right? Yeah. Yes. So now you know when I practice, I love to be back bendy and archy. Yes. But it's like cool. even yeah. But I, I haven't done actually a normal press in a while. Do, you see? Can you do a tuck press so your <gasps> knees come in? Oh wow. Okay, I still got okay. it. Oh, Perfect. Right. You always got it. But yes. look, when I go straight, that actually is where I struggle. So you want to wrap your. Your thighs in a little bit. Yes. Ooh! And squeeze your glutes. So it's like the, the point of wrapping your thighs in will keep your hip space so you won't go over. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So as you go up again and think about, you're not turning your feet in, but think about your thighs coming in. Then I squeeze, see you, you squeeze your under the butt and then you've got the movement. I don't know if I. Here goes my public display of stuff to show you. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> see, that's why I love bringing other people and she's more experienced. So you're pushing up, you're wrapping your thighs, you're squeezing your butt, and then you've nice. got that position, right? Yes. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> <I'm so excited>. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so go up again and think about like, although this is the context of your thigh bones going in, but it's not going in. So you wrap them in and then you're squeezing your underbite. And so you've got like this movement. So you've, you've got to round the pelvis, you're pushing through that pelvis bone you're opening up your chest like you're opening the window and then you won't move. So I don't, I have never done that like internal rotations. Yeah, so, so the internal, internal rotations. Oh. So one of the circus performers who taught me said the internal rotation stops you from, it, it, it's sol it makes your spine solid and your back solid so you don't go into the banana wow. and you're naturally inclined to go into I feel like this tip right here is gonna change my whole. And you're aware enough of your body to understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. one tip is a game changer. Literally, <laughs> I'll never forget no. the thing you taught me, the fingers. Yeah, of your brain. Oh yes. Oh, that that day at yoga, I was like, wow. You know, like really? Why couldn't anyone tell me that? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let me try to. Okay. So think about squeezing your underbutt. Yeah. And then squeezing your inner thighs and squeezing your belly in, pushing through here. Oh, that's it. That's it. Perfect. And then squeezing in. Breathe, baby. No. Mm. Yeah. That so, was way better though. I can yeah. feel it. I can and then feel what it. you get after that is that push up. So that's. <sighs> So that's where I struggle. So you so want to think, you want to think your head, 
heavy. Yeah. So your head is going down like it's a lump of bricks. Yeah. And then you want to think of your arms pushing up like like um, Jack and the Beanstalk. So you're growing yeah. up. So when you go up again, you think your head is going down. Yeah, I think I saw her head moving, going forward. Was yeah, she so doing that? Head goes forward, you get so, tall, so tall here's it. Literally, if you'll see my Instagram, everything. I'm an archer. I like to do a hollow body. I like to arch. Oh, they're that's amazing. Why, that's why I love to do this. I'm just like archy, archy, archy. Yeah, you have lots of control and flexibility there. Yeah, right? and I'm just yeah. like, but literally, I cannot hold a straight handstand to save my life. But they're super hard. But if you wanted to work on that, you could yeah. come into, for example, because you've got lots of flexibility, you can come into a straddle, push mm -hmm. up, bring your head back, and push your legs. So you're forward. really making you're making your core. Compact. So you're doing the same. You're doing this thing. Yeah. Here, and you're compact. I see you do yeah. that a lot down, too. Yeah. You're just like holding like yeah. crazy. So you're yeah. doing that compression, right? Yeah. And, and or you can do it as a you know low lasana, but a high low lasana. Uh huh. And you're pressing your knees down and in. And your chest up. Oh, I haven't tried yeah, that. That would be great because you can segment your body better. Yeah. Than I, for example, I feel like I when my hips are open, my hips are so open, it's so much easier. Yes. Yeah, so if you're doing, but I can still focus on the say frog, mm -hmm. pushing your knees forward, mm -hmm. but then pushing your chest in. Right. Okay. So you're 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 hollow, but you're rounding, rounding. Not hollow, but uh, the, the the rounding you want. Yeah. yeah. So you're always the underbar. Let's try it. Okay. So like you're gonna push into my hand your hip space. Yep, and push your knees forward, but round your butt, curl your butt. Ooh. Yes, yes. Nice. And push up, yeah, super. Do you feel that? And push up in your yeah. arms, wrap your arms. Oh, yeah, sorry. and coming slowly down. So your arms, to help that too, would be you put a band, one of those the booty bands on yeah. the top of your arms. Ooh. And that's gonna push you up, because that's what I did for the last I haven't months. been do I haven't used bands like that. Because that, that movement is great, you're super strong. Yeah. But forget about holding it forever. Yeah. Yeah. Which is the same with me, which I've been learning as well. Yeah. It's a natural yogi thing that a lot of us, before we go into actual handstand training officially, that's the next step where you have contortionists and circus performers, and us yogis are great, but it's exhausting. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to do less work by just pushing through. If you talk to a, I talked to a Chinese person, he was about 50, and he was a circus performer, and mm -hmm. he said back in the day, his coach, right? They would stand there for 20 minutes doing a handstand and he said the way they do it would they'd stack all the bones, right? And they'd just hang out, just like we're yeah. standing now. Shannon can do that. Yeah, so that's how you that's do it. The... It's, it's all light, right? Yeah. 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 It's not even muscle. One yeah. time... Like, yeah, one time yeah. we, went, we, went, we were in the mountains and a little mountain retreat for us ourselves and Shannon was handstanding for like 10 minutes Amazing. straight. It was blowing my mind. She was, she so reached, she reached perfect stand. balance. Yeah, it's just like there. You just hang out. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, Shannon's over here on the outside. Hello. You know, you'll see her next, next episode. episode. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can say bye. Can unite like it's such a beautiful message um because i felt like there's a lot of misperception with people when you're online and so i read this saying that it said open hearts can unite more than the mind can see when you sink back wow. into your heart 
you start to listen to the stories, you start to stop judging people by their visuals, you start to also be kinder to yourself and then you can be kinder in everything that you do yeah. and then your breath comes back to you, right? Rather than all the pain and the trauma because it stops the cycle of hurt people hurting people. Instead of saying, you're ex, you can just breathe. Yeah. <laughs> We've literally been having this conversation this whole week, actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's been, it's been, yeah. Wow. Like, I, 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 when I started looking at Switzerland with the open heart and try to, uh, love is understanding, like, love is kind, I always yeah. say that stuff. I started appreciating my heart to people will just change immediately. Yeah. Like, now I understand, and you know? They give you the love back. Yeah. They be kind to everyone. And it's really hard now because we have such a politically correct world. And, you know, it's really hard for me to say the right thing for the culture of America because I'm not American. Yeah. Or um, even Swiss. So it would mean that we could hold a conversation and say, oh, I see you didn't mean what you said. Yeah. I just interpreted the word wrong, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. What, what um, love for me is different for you. Exactly. What faith is for me is different for the other person. And yeah. we need to hold the conversations between so we can meet back in the middle instead of wrong and right, you know, come back. In. So gray is actually a very cool color because <laughs> it holds all the rainbows. <laughs> I I swear if people Cheers. at home this is gonna tug so many people's hearts and like get people to like whoa like I I'm just so grateful. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming thank and thank you for having me. For being here and just being so open. It's so cool to be here. And thank you for giving me those tips, honestly. And I feel like this is like putting my own pride away. Like I feel like some some yogis are like, oh I don't wanna hear tips from you or I've been doing yoga this long. I I see that. I feel like people like yes, on Instagram course. sometimes yeah. and yeah, they don't want like yeah, but I'm so grateful for this and I'm so excited to learn and You're always learning. And right? I swear I'm gonna take this at home. I'm gonna show you. I got the internal I can hold. Yes. So thank you. <laughs> thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next one. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to me and Rihanna, and we'll see you next one. Bye. Bye. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. The light in me feels blessed and honors the light in you. And the light in us sees and honors the light in you. Ah, in each and every one of you. <laughs> and all the beautiful souls. Hey guys, it's Mel. I have Angie with me. Hello. You guys have seen her on my channel before. She's amazing. We're about to do another episode of Two Souls, One Flow. And we're just going to be trying some balancing acro poses, like partner poses that are like counterbalancing. So we might fall, we might not be able to do it, but we're gonna try and yeah. it's gonna be fun. So if you uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to me and Angie. I'll have all of her info below. Okay, so let's get started. Let's okay. do this. We can try also both, cause I'm really strong. I could also face you too, but maybe okay. in the beginning we could try. Do you want to try facing or flying? I mean, either or. I'm fine with either or. Okay. But if you feel, oh, girl, I am not lying, let me tell you. So if you feel like you can I can me, face then. guys, though, I promise. Okay. I, I can, yeah. Okay. So, let's try. We can try both. Let's just switch off. Okay. I can try facing first, just because I know the move. So pretty much, all you're going to do, so I'm going to lay down like this. I'm having this leg down. Ooh. This beach is a little dirty. Oh! So you're going to be, yeah, so come over me. So you're gonna actually grab my leg like this, right? And that's, and I'm gonna have my hands on your shoulders. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the, I'm thinking you're gonna bend one of your legs. Yeah, so bend that, and then you're gonna do the same shape like this. And then you're gonna lean back a little bit, and then I can balance a little bit. Okay. Let's try it. Okay, so I'm gonna... Okay. Oh, sorry. So grab right here. Yeah, like that. 
like the one bend me and then one the other leg. Yep, like that. Okay. Okay. I may not be able to do this in that one. She's got a lot of ass on her. Oh, I have to admit. And you're telling me. I feel like I can't do the countdowns. Because like, I'd have to like bring you this way and I feel like I would drop you. So. But I would go face first too. Yeah. <laughs> so do you want to try flying me then? Sure. Yeah, I, that I know where I'm going it. and yeah, yeah. So okay, all, okay. And all mm -hmm. you do, you're keeping the bottom leg like uh, straight and then kind of do this. I'm gonna go back and then you're gonna easily like lift up. So I'm gonna okay, okay, so so My arms are going back and then the bent like just going a back. little bit. Do I lift do I lift this one? So your bottom here, lay down. Good. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then Oh yeah, this looks this good. Way. Yeah, that was nice. cool. Oh my god! It cool with the background. Okay. Isn't that okay. fun? Okay. I didn't, I didn't feel like I was like completely doing it, but I'd like to see what that looks like. Yeah, nice. That looks really cool. And I like lifted uh, my hips up off yeah. the ground. Okay. And like that's what you have to do. Like you have to kind of like do this. Okay. And then it lifts. Woo! Nice. I didn't know I could should, do that. Should we try like one more? Like, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We could do like a back bend on each other. Okay. Ooh. Like back bend, back bend. Okay. Okay. Like on each other? <laughs> what is this look like? Like on each other? <laughs> or I could do just like a bow. That'd be pretty. Ooh, that would be pretty. Let's try it. Okay. That's right now. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. We'll have to go swimming after. Okay, so if you want to get back then, then I'll try. Cool, this is crazy. Oh, oh, oh! Are you okay? Oh my god! Oh, so I just kicked her so hard! Oh, are you okay? Oh, oh, come up! Oh my god! <laughs> I, who did I hit? You hit my elbow. Okay. Oh, I, I thought like, you got yeah, her nose. I thought I hit her face because it hurt. It obviously was the elbow. Thank yeah. god it was the elbow. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Perfect. Oh, nice. like? I want to see. That was really cool. These okay, look awesome. So, I think that's all we have today. I'll definitely have Angie on another episode and Melissa and everyone I bring on. I'll probably bring them on again, but oh, that was so fun. That was Yay. a lot of fun. I did two things that I never knew how to do. Yay. So I'm learning something new today. Be careful at home if you try this stuff. Make sure to have like comfortable things around that if you fall. Um, but yeah, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Yay. Wee. <laughs> <laughs>
Alyssa May Lou on YouTube and Instagram. Check her out. She's amazing. All right, so I'm going to ask her a few questions, as you guys know from my other episodes. How long have you been doing yoga? Well, okay, I actually do yoga. <laughs> or, yeah. I actually like don't do yoga. Everyone assumes I do because I do like bendy things. Um, but I've been performing for like four or five years. Uh, I started gymnastics when I was six. Um, and then I like to do like minor contortion, which is why like people think I do yoga. So yeah. <laughs> but it's in the same like it's like a lot of the same. It's just different intention, yes. I guess. That's it. Oh, oh sorry! <laughs> you got me! Andrew, you take it out. I mean I think I got my butt a little bit. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, and action. <laughs> okay, well that's perfect actually because um, because you don't do yoga, I'll like teach her the yogi way of like stretching. But yeah, so even though you don't really do yoga, uh, do you have like a regular stretching like routine? Yes. Um, so usually like I have like a whole like warm up that I go through. It's something that I do regularly, like especially with all the shows that I do. Um, it's something I'll do like before my shows or sometimes like morning of or like like an hour before um, just to kind of warm up my body and like get myself ready or if I want to like try to push myself to do more. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. She does amazing pull and like dance and performing so uh, what has that done like for your life and how long have you been doing it for? Um, so I've been performing for like four or five years now and it honestly did so much for me like a lot of people don't they think it's like I just like I don't know. I just want to be on stage, which like, yeah, I do, but like, it was a really big like women empowerment thing for me. Um, I came from like a lot of trauma and abuse and being on stage like helped me find a different side of myself that was like more powerful, more confident, more happy even. Um, and like, I just, I get to make a living doing fun stuff, <laughs> really Yay! fun stuff. So like, it's been amazing. It's been life changing. <laughs> Yeah, it's so cool because like all of us, like me, Alyssa, our friend Angie, obviously you guys know Angie. Hi. She's about to be in the next episode. <laughs> um, where we all do like similar stuff, but like it's all so different. So like, you know, yeah, it's just like all different lanes. It's just really cool to see each other like thrive and grow and do and we've all grown like so much in each of our fields. Yeah. We've really, I feel like we've all become like really big forerunners in everything that we do. Uh -huh. And it's like all different. Like there's actually no overlap really between yeah. our different careers. But like, yeah. that's so crazy. We still like build each other up. Careful! Whoa! Oh gosh! I've been hit, sir! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, maybe with that. Oh god. Let's go ahead and start. So, uh, Alyssa was telling me how she wants to learn how to do lotus pose. So like the double wrap of the legs and like I love to do it like in handstand and forearm stand. So I'm gonna teach her how to do that today and then we'll try some inversions and stuff. So let's get started. Yay. So I'm just gonna take Alyssa, I'm gonna take you through like a little like just hip opening flow and then we'll get into it. Okay. Perfect. Close your eyes. Take a breath. Set the attention. We're open hands. And then inhale the arms up to the sky. Good. Slight back bend. And then exhale forward fold. Inhale, half to lift. And then plant the hands. Step back. Let's go ahead and just do a tuck rack up. So lower half to lift.
filming for her YouTube series where she brings influencers and does pull with them which we are a part of so stay tuned for that but she's sore right now so I'm just showing her some love. Love. Nice and, cute. <laughs> okay. 
And then from there, let's just see inside. inversions but okay. plant your hands next to you uh -huh. or kind of like a uh, forward and then you're going to try to lift oh my god okay. oh, nice oh my god good Sitting on the ground, it's really 
like you kind of have to use it, but when you're upside down, I feel like it's like gravity kind of helps. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's like a little bit easier, at least for me. But I can't okay, really. Let's try it. So, we're gonna get a little fancy. I go up to my forearm, and then right away, bend one knee. And this is the knee that you wanna try to get up as high as possible. So you're gonna get up to that hip crease, Whoa. and then bend it open. And then this one's kind of like you should be able to slide into it. And then from there, you can either arch it back oh, wow. or sit on your head and like do like this. Okay. But honestly, it's easier to get into it than sitting. Holy Sorry. cow. <laughs> that, I've been wanting to learn this one for so long because I see yes. you all the time. Yes, it's so fun. Okay. And it's like, it's you made it look so easy. I'm very, because I, you guys see my yoga on my channel. I literally stretch every single day. And so and you're like helps. very hip open, I feel. Because I'm literally like, they know, I do like the same shit every day. Like that same little flow I had you do, like that open, open. Yeah. And then usually I like straighten. I always do the skandasanas. And like, this wow. is like always opening. I'm always doing this. And yeah, I see this good. Yeah. Okay. You got this. I'm, okay. I'm gonna spot you, so okay, don't worry. Cool. And I can always help you get into it if you need, but let's okay. see what you got. Okay. So deep arm. And then right away, bend one knee. Whatever knee it is that you're going to cross over first. Good. And then bring this leg up this way. Yep, and then bend it. Good. Amazing. You got it, it's right there. It's just like right there, yes. Here, oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh okay. my god! So try to okay. bring the legs like down, almost uh -huh. like you're sitting. Oh. So you're like really arch. I feel like it's easier. Okay, so like arch board. Arch board, but then bring the knees down. Like you are doing like like this. Try to bring it down like this. Oh. So it's almost like you're sitting. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow, wild. You got it. <laughs> okay. both of us. I'll have her thing linked below and we'll see you in the next episode.